CBS Sports HQ presented by Zevo, getting you ready for week four in college football. Taking a look at ranked Pac-12 games here. USC on the road at Oregon State, a big uh, test for them. There was a lot of USC love on this desk before the show started, I will say. We're hearing a lot of it up here. Uh, love for Lincoln Riley, Caleb Williams here. So let's jump into it. Number seven, USC at Oregon State there. I mentioned a tough test for them. Uh, favored by six and a half on the road. The total is 68. Brady, we'll start with you. Weird things happen in Corvallis. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, uh, I'm not on that side on this one, though. I'm laying the six and a half points. If this number was bigger, I'd contemplate being on the side of Oregon State here. But I just think that offense at USC, it's one of the best in the country. It may be the best. And it's love, overwhelming. Love. And, and one of the things I'd say that I've taken away from Lincoln Riley being there, outside of we talked about some of the scheme, the, the, the screen game, that's always unique. They always have something different. And we can talk Jordan Addison and all the star players. It's their offensive line. They are so much more physical than they've been in the past. And it's one of the reasons why I feel like they've got a legitimate shot of competing, not only for the Pac-12 championship, but in the playoff, is because of the physicality that they bring to that. So, look, it's been a great run with uh, Jonathan Smith and Chase Nolan, who's been phenomenal this year, one of the better quarterbacks in, in all of college football, really, when you look at it. The bottom line is, though, uh, I just I don't think they're going to be able to keep pace with this USC offense. They are that good. They can score at will. They're phenomenal. Do you remember last week I told you I would not fade USC again this season? Yeah. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with you? One what more time. Why? Like One yourself. more time. What are you not convinced One by? of these tests, that, that, of, of the competition of who they played. Okay. Oregon State handled Boise State. They went, they, well, Boise State came Boise State's not very good this year. Though. They're like, but they're not awful, and they handled them. Uh, Corvallis is a funky place to play. It's going to be loud. There's a ton of excitement. Jonathan Smith's been there five years. How the heck has that happened? Like, it's just quietly, but he's been building. They went to their first bowl last week, winning season. They're going to be rocking, and there's always, like, the weather in Corvallis is kind of funky. It's, like, cloudy, and there's moisture in the air, like a dew on the football. I think that's going to affect the passing game. You like that one? That was good. Uh, and the number <laughs> here tells me something, too. I think this one is kind of begging you to go ahead and take the Trojans and say, oh, they're going to easily win by a touchdown or more. I'll go ahead and take the home dog. Last time. Last, last time, time I take them. We get, this, we get this on yes, tape. Last, that, we next, cut this and keep I don't this. care what the We're number is next week. week. If USC d does me wrong again and go ahead and just makes me look bad, I will not. I'll just lay the points all season long and take them as a favor. See, that's what I was thinking yeah. going against Stanford. And once they took care of Stanford and the way they did. Like that, the, not that good now. They're not, but I, I would still say they're pretty equal to, to Oregon State. And I think the difference, too, in that one is the scoreboard, it looked close than the game actually was. Yeah. I mean, they kind of called off the dogs there the last, second half. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.